This is a four and a half million dollar McLaren and it's one of six cars we're gonna be looking at today here in sunny Perth. I'll admit that I knew nothing about this collection of cars, but my two sons have been on at me for a while. You've got to see the Lee collection. So I did a bit of research, and today we've got six of them coming here. That's sensational. That's sensational. They're all sensational. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling to get out. Hold on, get the guy to help me. Okay, left leg out. Yeah, you got it. Get out. There Good. we go. Magic. I'm out. <laughs> I'll come back to the Elva in a little while. Let's start with the McLaren 620R. Can I even get into this thing? Though? You've got to fall back into the seat. This should be good for a little good for five foot female. 85% of the people watching right now are 18 to 34 year old guys. What attracts them to something like this? Obviously the looks, the sound, the way it just overwhelms everything. Uh, for me, even though I'm, I'm not the owner, I'm fortunate enough to experience these cars on a daily basis. These type of cars take your breath away. They make you excited. They do. And this is not a paint job. It's not a paint job. It looks- That blew me away. Yeah. This is a wrap. It was black, so you'll see here. That, so that was the original color. Okay. Uh, it had orange stripes over here and orange stripes down here. It looks fantastic. Very racy vibe, but we wanted to switch it up. It just didn't really, do the car justice. I have driven in a McLaren twice before in Austin. Now this is loud, but I think the loudest is without a doubt the Carrera GT. So let's go and have a look at that. We can do it. What do you reckon that thing's worth? I would say about 460 grand. Yeah, you're gonna add a million, just under a million well extra on top of that. Wow. Pretty flash, isn't it? This is obviously not a standard color, but it is electric. It just sparkles, doesn't it? Very difficult. <laughs> You're right for a child. <laughs> I can't get my leg in. <laughs> so does this car go up in value? It has, yeah. So we bought it for about 1.2 Australian. Yep. It's now probably worth about 1.8 1 in the span of 12 months. You just play this car like a symphony. It's honestly one of the best sounding cars as standard, like with the standard things once ever. But once you put the straight pipes on it, it just, you, you don't need the radio. Genuinely glorious. There's another uh, YouTuber called Super Car Advocates, and this was his old car. So originally a Canadian car, and it feels so much more composed than a brand new GT3, GT3 RS. Well, I mean, it's like me, it's just beautiful, isn't it? That's Perth over there. We're in South Perth waiting for a couple of other cars to arrive, and I just heard a noise, so I think we have another one on the way. Suicide doors. This is the Dawn, so the convertible Wraith effectively, known as a silver bullet. So one of 50 that was made, different paint job, different interior, uh, and the finishing on the dashboard itself is unique to the silver bullet. So there's five five rolls in the collection currently. A sixth and a seventh on its way. Well, this is South Perth, just across from the city, and uh, it is quite beautiful. In the background, you can hear the Ferrari, which is behind the McLaren. One million dollars. One point four million dollars. Next up, Josh tells us a little bit about the 812 GTS Taylor made. Never in my life have I seen a suede floor before. Six and a half wow. litre V12. That's quite big, isn't it? And I'm not a car man, but that looks very impressive to me. Jesus, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> You get your normal Ferrari, and then if you buy enough Ferraris, you'll be able to go have meetings over Zoom um, and really customize down to every single detail. Stitching, the color of your carbon fiber, you can even make your own colors. This was surprisingly comfortable to sit in. It's gorgeous, yeah. It's, you know, 800 horsepower, you think it's gonna bite. These seats, it's, it's like a puppy dog. And then it was time to have a look at the McLaren Elva. Until these boys told me about the collection that you work with here, mm. I had no idea that this was even a car. And then I've done a bit of research. I've seen Lando's video, which yep. is fantastic on the track with him doing the lines. I loved it. But to see one in person is amazing. This is the only one in Perth? Only one in Perth, yeah. In Australia? Actually, only one in Australia, yeah. Really? Yeah. And it's here with us today. And it's drawn quite a crowd. Have a look behind it has a us bit. here. Once you have a go in it, and I'll take you out, you'll realize 
there is no other way to motor. And how much is this one? Four and a half. Million? Australian. Yeah. Australian. That's just under three million euros. Now this is the most expensive of the six cars. What's the total? Here you're looking at about 10, 10 and a half million. That's a lot of money. It is. Now they're not your cars. They aren't mine, but um, they are a good friend of mine and uh, he loves his cars. It's part of a collection here in Perth. It's, it, it'd have to be the most impressive, wouldn't it? It's certainly up there in terms of Australia, even, even globally. Uh, we're knocking on about 50 cars in the collection, a street car and, and race cars. People are gonna find this amazing because there is no windscreen on this car. What's it like to drive? Once you experience this, you will never wanna drive a car with a roof on ever again. I can't wait to experience it. Let's go for a drive. I've been told to take my hat off once we get going because it'll probably end up flying out of the car. Oh, it's a lovely feeling. Yeah. I'm in a four and a half million dollar car on a Thursday afternoon driving around the city of Perth and it's a remarkable experience. And there's nothing to hold on to. There is no handle anywhere here. Great way to see Perth. It's fantastic. It's, it's almost like some carnival ride, isn't it? Well, I'll show you the roller coaster element very shortly, don't worry. Well, I'll put my camera down when you do. No, we want to see your reaction for that. Okay. It's remarkable for me because it doesn't feel like I'm in a car. It feels like I'm skateboarding. That uh, you're just riding on something, not in something. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's a... <laughs> yeah, I got that. I got that. It does make your eyes water. Oh, no! <laughs> The worst part is there's nothing to hold on to. There's no Jesus bar. Well, perhaps that's the best part. I don't know. You certainly know you're alive. The thing that grabs me here is that it's not noisy. It is a completely different experience to driving in a normal car. Yes, you get a lot of people looking because like me, I'd never seen one prior to today. And it must come as a hell of a shock to them because of the no windscreen thing. And it's just a real thrill to be a passenger in it. I'm gonna urge you to go and have a look at Lando Norris's video of him driving this car on a track. I'll put the link in the description below, but it's a really great video. And I actually only saw that video probably a week ago when I knew I'd be coming to have a look at this car. This has been one of the most remarkable days I've had in Perth for a long time. I need to thank Josh and all of his guys at the Lee Collection for having me as their guest today. I've driven some beautiful cars and if you've enjoyed it, I'm going to ask you to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. Remember, if you are a member of my page, and you should be, you'll get a whole host of extras for free. And I am going to suggest you go to the Lee Collection YouTube channel and become a subscriber there. You'll find all of my digital images at ProStarPix.com for amazing F1 wall art and a range of F1 books and merchandise, you'll find them at kimillman.com. And for my best images live from the track and all during the week, head to Instagram at kimillman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. And unfortunately, I ran out of time to do much on the $1 million Mercedes. And what about this? There's, uh, in certain light, you can see a yellow tinge, so I gather that's a special feature of this paint job.